In this video, we will review how to format a document. To modify page setup, click the Page Layout tab, and notice all of the options in the Page Setup group. You could be asked to change the margins to a predefined setting such as narrow, or you can go in and set custom margins, and then you would just key those in. You can change the orientation, the paper size. You can also set columns. For example, if we wanted this to be in two column format, you highlight it and then click on columns. Suppose we wanted a page break here. You can click the breaks button and then choose the type of break. Notice that you also have section break options and then you can see that was a page break. You can display line numbers on the document and then you can remove those by choosing none. You can also set hyphenation options. If you need additional options for page setup, click the dialog box launcher button on the bottom right hand corner of the page setup group. To change the document theme, click the Design tab, and then click the Themes button in the Document Formatting group, and then choose a theme, such as Main Event, and you can see how that changed our headings. We can change the colors if we don't like the colors, and then you can also change the fonts. To change the document style set, again return to the design tab and then click the more button on the style sets area. And then you can choose a style set. To insert a simple header or footer, click the insert tab and then choose either header or footer. The options for both are very similar. In this example we will insert a footer. And then notice that you have all of these predefined footers. Select one. And then that brings you into footer view. And for this one I don't want the author displayed so I'll click on that and press delete. And notice that we have a page number here. We will remove the page number and insert the date. And then click OK. When you are finished editing the header or footer, you need to close the header and footer tools. To insert a watermark, return to the Design tab, click Watermark, you can choose a predefined watermark or you can create a custom watermark. For this example, we will set up a picture watermark and so click on Select Picture. This one is on the computer in the Pictures folder. Click the desired picture, click Insert. You can also change the scaling if desired. I'm going to leave it at Auto. Make sure Washout is checked, and then click OK. And then lastly, to insert page numbers, you will return to the Insert tab, click on Page Number, and then select a location. And for this example, we will put it at the top of the page, and I'm going to choose Accent Bar 2. Now, you can also change page number options if you go back to page number and then go to format page numbers. For example, you can change the number format from numbers to letters or Roman numerals. And you can also change where the page numbering starts. Like if I didn't want it to start at A, maybe I need it to start at C for some reason. And then I can click OK. When you finish 
close the header and footer tools. And this concludes the format a document review.